What's up guys, Modern Mining here. Today I've got a quick video on the five settings that every miner should be setting in Hive OS to improve your efficiency, to improve your miner uptime, and to reduce the chance that graphics cards are gonna get fried and die. Stay tuned. All right, our first tip is gonna help you get your Hive OS wattage to match what's actually coming out at the wall. This way, when you go into Hive OS, you can see your power consumption right here and it'll be a somewhat accurate number because there's nothing worse than you think you're going to pay 100 for power and you end up paying 250 dollars for power click on a worker and make sure you have your watt meter plugged in and then you're going to go to settings right here scroll down and you're going to find this power supply unit efficiency percent basically this is allowing you to set the rating of your power supply gold platinum what you're going to do is basically just play with that number until your wattage in hive os matches what you're seeing at the wall and do this on all of your rigs and then you basically your power number in hive os will show exactly what you're consuming at the wall and it's super helpful the next key setting we're looking at is the hash rate watchdog what this allows you to do is if you, one of your cards drops off and stops mining, you can set a minimum threshold of the hash rate. And if you drop below that, then it's gonna restart your miner. And if that doesn't fix the issue, then it's gonna restart your whole rig. And why this is nice is if it's in the middle of the night and one of your cards drops off, then you're going to go 12 hours without getting that hash rate. But this, if this is turned on, then it's going to reboot and allow your miner to come right back on and you might miss at maximum five or six minutes of mining. So how we're going to set this is change this from miners to algos. That way you can set a value for each algorithm. Pyron hash, you can see I'm at 25 giga hash on this rig. So I want to set my value low enough that if one card drops off that I'm going to cross that threshold. So we'll set it to 23 giga hash. You can switch this right here between hash, kill hash, mega hash, giga hash. So we want that one and we'll click apply. Up next, let's talk about auto fan settings. I personally do not like to use auto fan to set the temperature or to set the fans of my GPUs because I don't like when they're switching speeds all day long. I would I like to just set them at one constant value. In auto fan settings, the main things that I do in here, I set this critical temperature and critical action. Now what this is gonna do is if one of your GPUs gets to 85C, let's say an overclock didn't apply properly or it restarted uh, the miner and it didn't apply properly, something happens and one of your cards starts getting real hot because it's not underclocked at all. I want this to stop mining at 85C because I don't want to risk damaging my GPUs if they're going to get to 90 degrees, 100 degrees. That's that's too hot. So by default, this is going to be at stop the miner. And that's fine too, but what happens is and I've seen this before where uh, a card will go up to 90 degrees or 85 in this case, stop the miner. But what happens is as soon as that card cools down, then it's gonna start the miner right back up. And if it, whatever issue is going on with the overclocks, if that hasn't been fixed, then it's gonna go right back up to 90 degrees and it's just gonna cycle like that. And if that happens while well, you're not paying attention or at night, I mean, it's gonna be cycling to 90 degrees for hours. So I recommend changing this to reboot and that's gonna reboot the whole rig Make sure that those overclock settings are applied from scratch and that's gonna be way safer for the car. This next one is all about overclocking in the minor sheet, the minor setup, instead of in the Hive OS UI here. So even though I have overclocks in here right now, these are not what's being used. It's actually being determined by my flight sheet right here where I'm setting my overclocks in the minor itself so that every time that minor boots up, it's setting those exact overclocks that I want for that algorithm. And what this does is it makes it super easy to switch between coins. So you can see I've got Pyron here. I've got my fan set to 50 because it's not a very hot algorithm, so I don't need to burn my fans up. And I've got all my other overclocks here. If I wanna to switch to a different algorithm, say right here, 
if I look at this flight sheet, I've got my Nexa overclocks in the minor as well. And since Nexa is slightly hotter, I like to add the fan speed in here as well. So let's do 65 for Nexa. So why I also put the fan speed in there is because if you run your flight sheet and the miner sets its overclocks, but then if you go in here and change the fan speed, it's gonna default to using the UI settings and it's gonna overwrite all of your settings from the miner. So I, you don't wanna be changing the fan speed in here if you're overclocking in the miner. So I set it in the flight sheet and that way I can switch between coins with one click. It's gonna set the fans all over clocks. It's much better and actually there's some efficiency that you can gain doing it from the miner because you have the option to, in the UI, you only can either set a core offset or lock a core clock. You can't do both. But if you do it in the miner, you can lock the core clock and you can set an offset. So this is the offset 370 and then I'm locking it at 1470 and it doesn't make much sense, but the higher that you set this offset, the more efficient your GPUs are going to be. All right. Last but not least, when you have a rig of identical cards, how do you determine which GPUs on your rigs are which GPU zero, GPU one, GPU two? The easiest way to do that is to use the run command GPU fi fans find. And I'll throw a clip on of what this does, but it basically is going to ramp the fans to 100% at on one card at a time from zero to one to two to GPU three. And what this does is it allows you to sit there next to the rig and mark it somehow. So you can either use like a piece of paper, sticky note, or you can mark it straight on the rig if you're not planning on making any changes. But listen as these fans start to ramp up and you can mark each one with the number that it corresponds to in HiveOS. And this is super helpful for troubleshooting Say I have one of these 3070 cards that's crashing, but I have no idea which one it is on the rig. So unless I wanna unplug each one and see which one disappears. So this is a great way to basically figure out in the real world, which GPU is GPU zero, which is GPU one, two, three. It's very helpful. I hope you enjoyed these tips. If you've got some that I missed, leave them down below. There's always something new I'm learning about HiveOS every day. But other than that, that's all I got for you today. Check out some of my other videos. I'll see you guys next time.